Hello, and welcome to the Smart Bee Controller's how-to video series on learning to read your garden's data. The data you see graphed here is collected by our suite of wireless sensor network-based products to help you dial in your garden for peak efficiency. You've learned how to adjust the devices within the control pages in our software click-through video, so now you'll be able to see how your adjustments look on screen to truly learn and understand the healthy heartbeat of your garden. Once logged into your app, the first thing you'll see are all of the rooms you've already built, as well as all of the aggregated live sensor data, which are your garden's vitals at a glance. The data gathered and processed by the Hive Gateway is easily accessible from your Room Details page. The Room Details page is where all of your historical sensor data is graphed for viewing and analysis, and with the ability to customize your view, so you can see only the historical data and their related devices. Below your real-time sensor data, you'll notice Smart Bee Controllers created graph viewing options grouped by data and devices that are logically interrelated within every garden setup. Or you can view all of them or any combination to compare and make wiser gardening decisions. The square waveforms you see here are appliances turning on and off, while the broken lines are the sensor data within your facility. For example, the temperature group incorporates the sensor data as well as cooling and heating devices and shows when the cooling system activates relative to the temperature of the room. By including the humidity group overlay, now you can see how the cooling system coming on can lower the humidity of the room, and the interdependence across all your grow room systems can affect each other within your network garden. Here's another example using the irrigation group. As the irrigation pump engages per your timer settings, you'll notice a surge in the water content of your medium. And over time, you'll see the dry down rate as your plants use the water they're being fed, and with that, learn exactly how much water and nutrients they're actually using. If your plants are showing a longer dry down rate, it may call for fewer irrigations, while a rapid dry down rate would indicate they're using the water faster than you're supplying it. It's this information that can be helpful in determining if your irrigation strategy is truly right for your plants. With the ability to see what's actually happening in your room, you can see how the space is performing, especially during times when you're not there. This level of detail will help fine-tune your garden, or at least help you notice events taking place you might not have previously been aware of. Lastly, the initial view defaults to the last 24 hours. However, feel free to manipulate the viewing timeline, as well as close in on specific days or times using the slider option below the graph. And while it's easy to dive into reading your room's data history, the Refresh Resolution button will help by loading additional data points relative to the time frame that you're viewing. Now that you've learned the layout of our graphic interface, you can clearly see patterns emerge in the data, and this view will help reveal inconsistencies to further dial in your room. And it's this level of attention to detail that gives network gardeners what we call the healthy heartbeat of your garden. Thanks again for learning more about how to read your system's data. And from all of us at Smart Bee Controllers, happy gardening.